so there is no negative marking in this examination but the passing marks is uh, 60% is there any specific exam center in india ke liye ya ye apne ghar se dena hota exam for the patient with hypertension comes so what will be the first line second line choice and even like they go to third line as well mcq exam ye fir se kyun le rahe hain i mean you already pass kar liye ek mcq to in dono mein kya is there any difference or the same syllabus puchte hain you can give uh, like at home also like that is known as this uh, like home proctoring and then there are exam centers as well so welcome to you all once again today we are going to talk about the pbc process to how you can register uh, as a pharmacist in canada so part one we discussed already about the document verification uh, so you can watch this video is here and this video is going to talk about a very detailed about the exam exam pattern syllabus you know and each and everything about uh, uh, this exam our uh, first we will tell you eligibility kya is exam mein baithne ka kitna kaun sa degree mangte hain okay so to be eligible to apply for pharmacy licensing in canada you have to complete a pharmacy school so uh, here the eligibility is b pharm that is four year of pharmacy school uh, from any country or as well as the pharm d degree that is the doctor of pharmacy that is a six year pharmacy degree from any country so if you are if you have this degrees like pharmacy degree then you are eligible to apply for pharmacy licensing exam and uh, sit for exams like pharmacy licensing exams as we discussed in our video earlier registration is not mandatory in your home uh, home country in your state pharmacy council you need to give the declaration ki aapne kyun nahi kiya for example aap direct ki study karne pahunch gaye the ya aapne apply kiya hua to still you can apply for this process so raj bhai if you can just give us in kon kon se exams so can detail about the exams yes uh, so uh, if you want if anyone wants to become a pharmacist in canada they have to give the pebc examination that is pharmacy evaluating board of canada that conducts the three examinations basically first one is the evaluating exam that is also known as ee uh, that evaluates your basic knowledge about the pharmacy Uh, uh about the pharmacology basic pharmacology of drug and uh, the therapeutics of the drugs then comes the qualifying exam so in qualifying exam they mainly focus on the canadian standards of pharma like uh like managing a patient uh, the canadian standards for managing each and every disease and, and uh, the qualifying exam has two part part a is mcq which will have like a computer based exam and the part b is oski that is a practical examination they create a scenario where there is a patient coming to a pharmacy and how you will handle a patient based on the patient's complaint so uh, if we talk about the evaluating exam evaluating exam and the mcq exam both are computer based exams and evaluating exam as well as the mcq exam part a can be given from your home country and uh, it also can be given from uh, if a candidate is in canada while the oski exam for oski exam the candidate it's mandatory for a candidate to to be in canada and to go to a exam center for uh, giving the exam and i think uh, we also forgot to mention here if your college is approved you know this acp approved college for example you did from फार्म डी फ्रॉम जे एस एस कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी जैसे पार्ट वन एग्जाम है आपको नो नीड टू गिव यू नो डायरेक्टली यू नीड टू गो टू एम सी क्यू एग्जाम एंड डायरेक्टली ऑस की एग्जाम यू नीड टू चेक इफ यूर कॉलेज यू नो ए सी पी एक्रेडिटेड है आपका देन नो नीड टू राइट दिस एग्जाम सो इफ यू कैन गिव अस लिटिल बोर मोर डिटेल यू नो अबाउट दिस एग्जाम कितने घंटे का एग्जाम होता है हमारी आवर्स एग्जाम हाउ मनी क्वेश्चन एंड वाट कांड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आस्क यू नो लाइक यू नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोटिक्स मोर क्वेश्चन कॉलोजी और वाट कांड ऑफ वाट दे वॉन्ट टू नो इन दिस एग्जाम पार्ट वन में yes uh, so for evaluating exam uh, there there is a there is a uh, like exam pattern a blueprint where pharmaceutical science uh, it covers the 25% of the portion pharmacy practice has the main focus that con- covers around 55% of the uh, like examination and then there is a third portion that is behavioral social and administrative pharmacy sciences which covers around 20% of the portion uh there are total 140 questions that is uh, like up, that appears in the evaluating exam and uh, there is around 
ಸೆವೆಂಟಿಂಟ್ So there is no negative marking and uh, uh, passing marks kya hota hai yes uh, so there is no negative marking in this examination but the passing marks is uh, 60% so once like if you get 60% then it is like you pass the exam and for each each mcq you will get one uh, one mark and no negative marking so uh, rajbi ye in india mein matlab कोई इज देर एनी स्पेसिफिक एग्जाम सेंट्रल इंडिया के लिए या ये अपने घर से देना होता है एग्जाम का मतलब क्या वो लाइक ऑनलाइन हाँ हाँ प्रॉक्टरिंग होती है क्या होता है यस सो लाइक देर इज टू देर आर टू वेज यू कैन गिव लाइक एट होम आल्सो लाइक दैट इज नोन एज दिस लाइक होम प्रॉक्टरिंग and then there are exam centers as well so if we talk about exam centers in india then there are exam centers in new delhi hyderabad mumbai chennai bangalore and ahmedabad so all the metro cities have like exams ma- major jo metro city in india ka wo jagah pe exam center hai so you can give in your home also or aapka choice ke upar hai aur you can go to the exam center uh so i think uh, is there any because there is a 12 ghante ka time difference there is a 12 hour time difference in india in canada right around so uh, timing kya hota exam ka sir uh, like timing will be according to your home country okay. so it's not like uh, yeah can, no not canadian time but your home country time time okay is followed that's good so let's talk about this uh, mcq exam ye fir se kyu le rahe hain i mean you already pass kar liye ek mcq so in dono mein kya is there any difference or the same syllabus puchte hain the syllabus is same but evaluating in evaluating exam what they ask is just what is the classification like which drug is used for which indication and what is the mechanism of action whereas in mcq part they ask the clinical part like the therapeutics of a drug so uh, if a patient with suppose a patient with hypertension comes so what will be the first line second line choice and even like they go to third line as well and in mcq part they also ask about the dose dosing also but in evaluating they don't focus on the dosing part so this is the difference Okay. uh like even well, like main mcq exam is mainly focused on the canadian uh, management protocols all the algorithms they follow is canadian based so yeah so in this mcq exam like how many hours the exam how many questions you know in passing criteria kya hota hai yes uh, so pra- passing criteria is same that is 60% and f- uh, in mcq exam you have 200 mcqs and the duration of examination is 4 hours so it's 200 mcq 4 hours and passing marks is 4 uh, hours is there any break or something continuously 4 hours you need to give uh, yes there is a break in between so it's based on the can, like candidate's choice if they want to take the break or they don't like they want to continuously give the exam okay and what about us ki this is really important for you all because in our home country uh, whether it is b form or farm d mein include nahi kiya jata hai us ki to bahut jyada bachcha lagta hai ye bahut hi tough hota hai pass nahi kar payenge you know uh, to us ki thoda ka detail mein bata pao us ki kya hota hai you know yes so oski basically they try to uh, like examine your confidence your knowledge in front of a patient so uh, they will like the, the examiner will pretend as a patient they will come up with some case scenario uh, some questions that the patient may have so based on that you have to answer and they judge you based on your confidence how, how confidently how correctly uh, and how legally correct answers you give and how legally correct steps you take uh, in front of patient so uh, there are various uh, like stages stations we call there are eight stations uh, which will include some stage like some stations will have uh, 
a case based on the administration which will which may include insulin pens or ointment eye drops so what kind of counseling you will give then uh, a station comes with uh, ethical decision making like what kind of decision you will take so there are certain cases uh, you you know right so where you have to uh, like uh, be like keep the patient's uh, information confidential in certain cases you don't have to prescribe certain drugs to the patient so in all those uh, like competencies they check and based on that they give the like markings so there are eight stations and uh, from first the severity or the difficulty level of the stations increases so out of eight station how many uh, need to you know if you, if i want to pass this exam like six station pass karna hai art matlab kya hai rule hai wahan par so uh, it's not like passing number of stations but it's like they mostly ask about like they, uh, like judge judge you based on the confidence you show the language like how com- uh, like fluently you communicate with the patient and how much like ethically correct decisions you take in front of a patient so based on that decision they take the like final result it's not like you have to pass this many stations but okay i was because you know in australia there is a exam called amc exam for medical doctors so wah 14 stations hote hain out of 14 9 agar pass kar liya and you will pass the exam so in that sense okay. was uh, uh, asking okay So Rajvi, uh, these are the things today. And guys, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. We will try to you know cover in our next podcast. Thank you so much, Rajvi. Thank you. Thank you, sir.